Game Destroyers TV, welcome to the show. Dark Paul here, and welcome back to Mod Shot. So, today we are covering a flatbed trailer. Now, the last Mod Shot I did, we covered a whole bunch of really cool uh, site construction site items, like the containers and things like that. But how do you get into the site? Well, this trailer from Winston Mods is the trailer for you. It is huge. can easily hold two of these, uh, as they call them, bungalows. But it will hold everything you need to move. That's for certain. It has a locking script and it also has a built-in crane. So let's, first of all, add in a chain onto that. So we can pick it up. I'm going to jump into the cab. Now the one issue I have is the camera with there you need to get the there's a mod out there you can get that stops that from happening but I don't have it at the moment so we're gonna unlock our load and we're gonna get our crane and the crane's all controlled by the mouse ah. so bear with me on this <laughs> Oh yeah, I need to drop out 8 and 9, which is our stabilizers, so we don't break any construction regulations. The thing I like about the crane is it'll actually slide along, even with a bed down, it will slide along, so let us get a hold of... There we go. Oh, did the load not unlock? Hang on, I'm turning the, the HUD on a second just so I can make sure. Oh, what's going on? I suddenly not got control. Oh, that's why. I detached the trailer, I wasn't lined up properly to get the attachment. There we go. Oh. And of course I'm having issues, it seems to have got itself stuck somehow. I'm sure the load's unlocked. This doesn't want to behave. Of course, the, the the load locking thing is not appearing, so I can't tell if it's locked or unlocked. Ah, there it is locked. There we go. Now we'll try picking it up. It's a little bit footery to get used to. As you can see I'm kind of messing it up. There we go. Now we're free. So you can pick it up and swing it around. You can, you know, do all the adjustments and whatnot. It will sway around because there's no crew stabilizing it. And you can then lay it down so you can have it ready for the work site. Let me move. <laughs> I've got it majorly swinging here. And of course now it's going to get in the way of the trailer. Let's rotate it around like so. I'm just going to drop it off there. With a bit more care, you know, you could easily get it into very specific positions. I do like this, it's a nice self-contained crane on the truck. I like the way it folds up as well into a neat little package. Make sure we're all the way around. And then we'll lift our stabilizers like so. And as I say, you can move this crane all the way along the truck bed so depending on what you're loading or whatnot you can have the crane in 
different positions. You can have it in the middle between two loads. Like if you had two of them containers on, you could have it there or whatever. So now on top of your standard features and that, it also has strobe lights on the back of the trailer. As well as uh beacon as well works. So of course all the standard lights, blinkers. It's a nice trailer, right? I, I do like it. And I'm just gonna take it a little spin. It is a heavy trailer, you know, this truck. It does feel the weight of it when you're pulling it. As it would do. So I doubt we'll even be able to get much of a bounce, but you can see the su suspension works on all the wheels and whatnot, so this is definitely the trailer you need for moving all the construction items, that's what I think anyway. And I'm not going to get through that bridge, <laughs> not like that. I always forget the bridges on this side are a little narrower. I'm just taking a little spin round just to show it off. Oh, and I give myself completely beached out as I try and come up there. I managed to save it. So yeah, definitely a trailer for you. If you want to check it out, the link will be in the description below. And I will be back tomorrow with another mod shot. So till then everyone, stay safe.